Welcome back. You're joining me in time for Operation Red Stranger. We're touching down in Guangzhou, China. I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and we're basically stopping an alien raid on a local Chinese paper mill uh, called the Shop Paper Inc. I don't think it's a Chinese company. I think it's like a, a branch. Uh, we've brought a fairly good team along with us. Uh, it's a heavy abduction, so we're expecting considerable a considerable fight. Considering we just went on a small UFO, and it had a pod with three berserkers in it. I'd say don't get complacent when you see heavy abductions. So let's get down there. Let's see what we're facing. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Bet you think you're real funny, don't you, Melv? Bet you're just having a fucking riot up there, aren't you? No fucking ladders. No pipes. I bet you think that's real funny, don't you? Fuck. Well, we're not getting that melt. Um, but, that's okay. It's a heavy abduction. I've got bigger things to worry about than plus three meld canisters right now. And we've been hitting the hell meld hard in those UFOs. I think we deserve a break from worrying about it. Uh, this time, what I'm going to be doing is the same as last time. Heading down this back alley. The difference is we've got some scanners. If we hear any noises, we can kind of check out what's coming. And the big difference is we have the alloy shiv to make uh, to make it so if we get caught in a fight, we're going to be able to get just as many guns on them as they should be able to get on us. And who knows, maybe we'll funnel a berserker down here from an activation. All I know is, especially on a heavy, I don't like fighting in the middle where you can be flanked from either side. I feel like fighting up the left side gets you just as pinned as fighting down the right if you get an activation. And usually you don't get activations on the right side. So I, I like to take my chances down here. You can set up your sniper down here to cover you or your rocketeer. Um, you know, you got options this way. So it's a pretty simple briefing. It's the same as the last one. We're going to head down this right side, uh, SWAT infiltrate the back warehouse, and then clear through the building in a clean sweep. Let's get into it. All right. First on the agenda. Who feels like taking that position? What's that? The alloy shiv? Maybe. Alex D, why don't you recon that? Moving. Good recon, Alex D. You found nothing, which is my favorite kind of recon. That's not sarcasm. I like not finding anything right here. That's good. We don't want to find things. After Vic. Position confirmed. We got a good team here as long as we can get him into a good fighting position. And I can help that. With low profile on the alloy shiv, I can help that right here. Watch this. Moving to designated position. Boom. Instant cover. That's sexy. We're gonna want to get our rocketeer in position here then, now that, that spot's freed up for him. I'm on it, Commander. Oh, for her. Excuse me, Madam Renzel. You're a gunnery sergeant, you deserve better respect from me than that. My apologies. Here comes Cell. Another gunnery sergeant, and here comes Awa. Stealth breach through the back, guys. Keep it stealthy. Ears open. Oh yeah, this is going to be a fun one. So we got a mechtoid out there, and we got a cyber disc out there. This is going to be fun. Position confirmed. This is going to be real fun. Okay. On the move. It's gonna be a fucking hunt tonight, boys and girls. Heading to that location. And Alex D, work experience kid, you're here to experience it. That's what your job title is, right? Work experience? Get ready for some fun, kid. Glad I brought the heat. Real glad. Real, real glad. Oh, 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 oh. 
about us. And mutons. This is a buy round, make no mistake. If those are berserkers, this could get ugly fast. And not just because berserkers are ugly. One, two. I reckon you got it to here. Nah, I was one off, I had a feeling. Alright, so it's one. Let's keep that in mind. I mean, I did it before. I thought it was two, though. Copy that. That's alright. We'll deal. Brains, I'll keep that rocket prime, sugar. Because we're going to need it. We're facing some bullshit tonight. Probably going to be worth throwing a scan out. Moving out. Be here just to make sure this will be safe. Ah, I'm gonna see it anyway, right? We'll just be careful. Just assume there is a mectoid there. Save a scan. Oh, good old left click activation. Let's get that out of the way now. Let's get the bugs out of the way now before the actual fight starts. I appreciate that. I'm on it. Direction. Left, maybe? I don't know. I don't think it had any direction. I think it was just all around. Well, of course, it's got to be left, but, you know, it could be could be center, it could be here. But I think that was just a no directional cue. Alright, guys. Get ready, this could be scary. On my way. We're alright so far. That's good. Gives us a chance to get into position. Something we desperately need. Heading to that location. Keep it moving, gang. I affirmative. If we're lucky, we'll get good positions before we breach this warehouse. If we're unlucky, well, I'm sure you guys are all veterans. You've all been on unlucky operations by this point. Maybe not you, Alex. I don't know. Look out. Pretty sure the rest of you have seen some pretty bad I'm ones, on though. It, Commander. Chevier. of you. I feel, Commander. Eyes on the prize. I've got my eyes on. What's making that noise? Possible interior contact in the warehouse. Here we go. Contact. Two sectoids, two drones, one mectoid in an awkward to fight position. Get amped up because it starts now. Oh yeah, that's the way you start a firefight, Fraggy. I'm sorry, that was my mistake. One drone, two sectoids, and a mectoid. Now we gotta watch out. Activating a berserker pod could spell some real doom here. Or, you know, a cyber disc wouldn't be very pleasant either. Need to shut this thing down. How am I gonna do that? I think you're gonna have to cross the SM. Which is scary, I know, but I think you're gonna have to do it. Unless the shiv moves, nah, then you've got no corner cover there. I think for this to go safe, you're going to have to do your job of running Overwatch's DSM. It's a scary job, but it's what you're good at. How about- Copy that. Fire in the hole. Watch it, that's on fire, we have to move back. You cannot stay there now. So you're gonna have to run back. Position confirmed. That's right. You cleared it out. That's a good start. Now the rest of us can get to work. Let me move you up here, Fraggy. Yep. You keep your sights on him, bub. We're gonna need those sights in a second. She 
got low health. She could get crit out of that half cover, but she's going to have a much better shot from that position. And then I can suppress it with Cell, or even hit it with Cell with a Shredder. With a Shredder and some good shooting, we could even take it down this turn, and that's a lot less dangerous than fucking around in heavy cover. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Make that snapshot work, honey. Only you can. Okay. We're gonna shred this team. Then we're gonna finish it off. Engage. That better not be a... Uh... Now that is something I was a little bit worried about. Okay, we got another three-man Berserker pod. Plus, I'm pretty sure a Muton back there. This is fun. Let me get my dice out. Okay, one Muton rear. Good housekeeping is important in a situation like this, right? One Muton rear. And I'd better have two troops of flashbangs, please. I do not. I don't think. It's just Alex D with a flashbang. I think the other one was... Damn it, DSM had to move because it was on fire. Oh, God. Work experience kid's about to get some real work. Oh, my God. This is terrible. Maybe we can kill one. Flashbang the other two. Drive him off. Alex D is going to have to flashbang. Suppress the mectoid this turn. Everybody else is going to have to kill this berserker, I think. We're not going to be able to spare anyone else for that fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this just got interesting. You better believe it. God, what if they bull rush Alex D on that cab? <sighs> is there really anything I can do about that right now? No, there isn't. I'm on it, Commander. There isn't anything. That's a rhetorical question. Just gotta believe in the fucking flashbangs. Oh my god. Okay, flashbang them. Leave them alone now. Just pray. Pray for them. Pray they don't have the range to move in on me. Now on the left, we got us a different problem. This big fucking piece of meat. But we've got to deal with him, don't we? And I sure fucking wish DSM was there to shoot him. Cell can maybe get a rapid fire on him. I'll shoot first of AO. What's your will? What's your will? Show me the best will we got. Cell has got better will. I'm just worried that if I leave her in open cover, I mean... What's she got to protect her? Nothing. Fucking Muton can just move up, take cover, and fuck her up. Maybe what I gotta do is take cover here. And then pull it into me, yeah. Alright. Let's commit. I'm on it, Commander. Because that Muton, yeah, that Muton could have just fucked me up, really, without much cares in the world. Rapid Fire is going to give me two shots for the price of one potential panic. The only thing that could make this better is I have Shredder, but I, uh, I don't, folks. That's doing some damage. Now I'm feeling better about this. Nice stuff. And she didn't even panic, ladies and gentlemen. That's a professional right there. Iku can probably finish that off. What would the rest of our squad do then? Well, we've got a Muton in there who's potentially going to grenade me. I wonder if I could chuck a grenade over, hit that mechtoid. Can't hit these Mutons with my grenade, of course, is the problem, because um, they'll run towards me, so I want to avoid that. Maybe the best thing I can do is to just shoot with AO. Very well done. Take it out. And now he can reposition as can the rest of the squad. Just gotta watch. Too many people taking cover on this. It means if I get grenaded by that Muton, it could potentially catch the cab. And that is a very scary prospect right now. Very scary indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Look out. 
Maybe I can fuck you up instead. Make you think twice, grenade you. Make you think twice about this shit. Yeah? Yeah. She does love her job. Well, that thing's grenaded. Should have a little bit less cover to run at me now. Of course, if the fuckers can make it to here and bull rush me, it's gonna be bad. I hate bull rush so much. Bullshit ability. Bullshit more like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. And Iku really know where to go. I'm just gonna hide him. I'm on the move. This is pretty scary. The wrong bull rush could get really nasty here. But I still have to suppress that mech to it, I think. Best chance I got. Okay, closing my eyes for the bull rushes when those berserkers start moving, because I don't know what's going to happen. And I'm scared. Okay, there's a drone. He's going to repair the mechtoid. I'm going to shoot a rocket at you next turn, big guy. You're running at me. I don't like that. Fuck your shield at least, but Renzel's in danger. Renzel's in a lot of danger. Luckily the Berserkers are kind of meat blocking. Alright. Alloy Shiv's probably going to the mech bay after this one. It's running, it's running, it's running. Oh god, what's flashbangs? This thing's running in, is it going to grenade me? Is he going to kill Renzo? Oh god bless Alloy Shivs. The only reason we're alive right now. Here comes the second one, we're not out of the woods yet. Okay. Okay, we're alive. For now. For exactly right now, we are alive. Don't bet on it much longer. Now, I stopped these berserkers once. I don't know if I can do it twice. Yeah, you know what? If I start falling back along here, just fucking running. I reckon I can. Just get the fuck back. Draw the mech toy down towards me, maybe. But I can flashbang these two berserkers. Make these meat wads chase after me. I don't think there's a lot better options than that right now. Unless I want to fight these things right here, and let me tell you, I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't want to fight them right here. That's not sounding fun. Now they moved about one, two, three, four, five, six, about five tiles. It's uh, one, two, three. No, they can jump. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So they can probably bull rush about these wall positions. So if I can get back further than that, that'd be ideal. But yeah, we're getting the fuck out of this position. We're falling back. Work experience kit included. We are leaving. Run. Location confirmed. Here's your work experience. Fucking run. God bless Fraggy. The man is a machine. And I guess that's actually quite literal. He is quite literally a machine. Moving to designated position. Move it, people. Move it so much right now. And we're going to need some key overwatches here. We're going to need some key flashbanging too. Alloy Shiv is probably going to help to help out with that angling. Fall back, Stoli. Fall back, Renzo. Get yourself the fuck out of there. Over. Yep, sell you fall back too. Time to motor. Stoli, get out. Come on, let's go. I'm good. You know we're leaving now. Alright, where are we going to flashbang from? One, two, three, four. I think if I stop to reload Fraggy, they're going to be able to hit me. So maybe if I move back to this position, can Renzel make it that far? Yeah, easy. Maybe if I move to like this position, that's going to be a good way to flashbang. Right here. Let's go one extra back just to be extra safe, I think. Oh my god. Now please tell me you can flashbang. No mistakes needed here. I'm on it, Commander. Yep, there's the flashbangs on him. We're gonna keep him flashed. The real saving grace is this truck should block that mechtoid from getting a shot on us, I hope. It has high mobility, it might be able to get around and shoot us, but it shouldn't be able to flank us, I don't think. I'm sure we're about to see. God bless this little shiv for giving us cover right here too. 
so we don't have to risk getting bull rushed. Now we're gonna need to take out these berserkers this turn because more dangerous ranged combatants are coming behind them. <laughs> All I need is a cyber disc right now, right? Just what I need. Here comes Mr. Muton, who can apparently see me. Whoa. And that that is bad. That's going to give them extra mobility. The Berserkers have extra mobility now. But the flashbang should still keep them contained. I hope. Here they come. <laughs> okay. Fuck off, roof mail. I could care less right now. Um, interesting that we've only got one Berserker on scope right now. That is both interesting and very scary. I wonder if the other one jumped over this wall. I don't want a cyber disc, but I don't want a, a berserker on the other side of the wall for me. Maybe I should check. I don't know. Maybe we'll just fight the good fight down this alleyway. Let's keep it coming back, I think. Treating from potential berserkers. Where is that mechtoid? He's getting close. I reckon he could potentially flank the left cover of this thing. It's starting to look like that, you know? But I don't think he'll be able to flank this wall. On the move. Can I get a scan to see where that other berserker went? That'd be really handy. Yeah, that's good. Give me eyes on. Scanner in the air. He's big, he's meaty, and he's in that building. I'm scared. I'm very scared. Don't scare me like that, berserker. Next turn, that Muton can take cover there too. Now these guys are kind of okay because this brush is blocking, but as for Riku, I think he's going to have to take this rear position. And if there's contact out here, well, who boy. I don't know what to tell you. Like, that's just not a good time. Oh, man. I have no choice. I think I have to move out here. I don't want to, but I think I have no choice. Into that It'll be your fault, Alex D. Oh, you're lucky. You're lucky, kid. Alright, so we better start moving to AWO back as well. Go there. We're going to really need to get some distance from that Berserker, I feel. I don't think Cell has a choice. I think Cell has to stay where she is. Oh, but she's going to get bull rushed. You know what's going to happen, Beagle. Yeah, but what's my other choice? Get fucking flanked by a Mechtoid? Fuck no. Shot by a muton? I got no fucking choice, man. They ain't left me with no choices, unless I don't engage with her. That's an option. Don't forget that's an option. Hmm. As I say all the time, it is rough stuff. It is rough stuff. Bull Rush is such a fucking motherfucker of an ability, as you can see right now. But there's nothing else for it. I've got a fire. Unless I take my chances with that Mechtoid not being able to flank me. Which is probably the best chance I got right now because I am going to get Bull Rushed and I don't want to. I'm on the move. Just trust in the alloy shiv. I think that's the best option we have. Ooh. God. Not happy, Jan. No, no, no. I am not happy with that. Ooh. 
Not at all am I happy with that. <laughs> well, now we just switch positions. Now Stolly's gonna take this position. Awa might just have to overwatch this thing. And just trust that if the Muton moves to this corner, he won't be able to see through that brush. Because I don't have a lot of choices right now, folks. I do not have a lot of choices. And we can't blow up that brush for that exact reason. We have to keep that brush alive. Take it out, Awa. This ain't the time to fuck around. Shit. Alex D, it's time to get some real work experience, kid. Please. Damn it. Renzo, finish it off. Missed. All right, Freddy, you're gonna have to turn around and face the other way. And Iku. Yeah, that's your best shot, I think. Already there. Yeah, you're the safest. You should be happy. So we should be down to one berserker. And oh god, I just can I can just taste the bull rush. I don't want it. I really don't want it. We got a double threat here of this mechdoid, this bull rush, triple threat if you include the muton. Oh thank god that thing's not gonna fire on me this turn. But it's in an awkward position. Sectoid, please block the berserker from getting mobility on me. Yes! Take the spot so the muton can't! Okay, now here it comes. Is it gonna Oh fuck, it's running away! Living some kind of semi-charmed kind of life, baby, baby. Maybe we'll be okay. But Stolly is panicked. We can't leave yet. What do we do? What do we do? We know we got contact right behind here. I reckon we blow this shit wide open and just start taking fucking names. Kill that fucking mechtoid. And just start taking names. Liberally. Take every name you want. This isn't like, you know, your standard video game where the name's taken, you can't have it, like unique names. No, this is just take names. Just take them all. The only other option we have is just backing right the hell up, but I'm sure that Cyberdisc is out there somewhere. And it's not an option I look forward to. At least if we clear out these shooting enemies. We can deal with the Berserker a bit easier. Give me a good rocket on this, folks. We're about to do XCOM proud. What sells ammo at? Enough. Make it happen. I trust your judgment 100% when I say if you think the rocket's good you take it. Win or lose, it comes down to here comes the schnapps. There we go. We need eyes on from cell now. Give me eyes on. Fuck, all I got is that goddamn sectoid. We're gonna have to move up. But we can't. Shit, the Rocketeer, we can't. All we've done is deal with the Sectoid, but the Mechtoid's still a huge threat. Unless... Unless I just say fuck it and just go for it. Leave the Rocketeer. Should be fine, no one can get covered to punish her. I just need to get into a position that has line of sight on the mechtoid so I can take it down. This might be that position. But if I move to here, a cell can move up with me. That's the key. I reckon...
How far can you move? Left side of this pillar. Alright, that's your furthest move. Alright, this might be slick or I might get shot. I guess we'll have to find out. Wow, it wasn't actually slick enough. But hold on, the slickness is still happening. I'm rolling. That was the slick part. Alright, we got step out cover on this mechtoid now. Now I'd love to just rapid fire the son of a bitch. And you know what, that might actually be a good choice. Shredded with heat ammo. Rapid fire. We're looking at potential tens on both. I reckon we can take it out. We have to try. Cell, do you remember how I said I trusted Renzel's judgment? I trust yours too, and if you think you can do this... Well fuck, you just do it. Eight! Nine! Weapons empty. Can engage. Ah, those are not the shots I was expecting from that one. Have we got anything left? Anything left in the tank to make this work? Look like it. I'm on the move. No step out on the mechtoid. Is this gonna be all for naught? Is Cell gonna get fucking blitzed out of half cover by this mechtoid shooting twice? I am so scared. That's all I can tell you. I am so scared. <laughs> Plus, if we don't catch this thing on Overwatch, Renzel's got no cover because of this gambit I made. So there's another thing. Well. When you roll hard, you gotta roll hard. Which means everybody's gotta contribute to this fight now. There now. That means taking out this sectoid. And that means every other motherfucker is overwatching this mechtoid. Oh man, this is about to get real intense. Oh, 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 oh shit. Throw that. You guys miss? Somebody's dead. Doesn't get much simpler than that. Roger that. Hope that drone doesn't take my overwatch. That could spell someone being dead as well. On overwatch. <sighs> We're putting it all on the line here. Should have just suppressed the cocksucker. Don't take my Overwatch drone, please. I don't need that. Oh, don't repair him either. Fuck you. Time to roll big, heroes! Nobody quits. Okay, now we're down to one green muton, one drone, and I believe one sectoid currently active. We got reports of a cyber disc out there, people, so keep yourselves aware. And shit, we've still got a berserker out there, don't we? Keep your eyes out for him, and stay away from heavy cover if you can. We don't want to be bull rushed out of nowhere. Fuck me, this is one hell of a fight. Alright, stay at a distance, I think it'll be safest. Just take care of that thing. Drone's down. We got a Berserker, a Sectoid, and a Muton left, I think. Reload. Yes, reload. We're green to go. Probably should have done this before, but give me eyes if you can. We need to see what's coming at us and where that Berserker's gone. Fuck, no eyes. We're gonna have to wait. Step back and reload. Guys, just try to stay off cover if you can. You're gonna you're gonna thank me. Aye aye, Commander. You don't wanna get pull rushed. And they haven't got any corners to exploit on you anyway, so it should be okay. On the move. Told you this would be a fun one. Did I lie? 
We're green to go. Alright. Here comes El Chupanibre. Nacho Libre is a very evasive fighter, but he's coming. You can't bull rush us, so fuck you. But we could not kill you. That would also be bad. Alright, guys. Time to not fuck up. We've got a shredder left, but in that kind of close quarters, we can't really afford to take it. So, first things first. Yeah. Just want everybody to understand that the only thing we can do here is kill the fuck out of this thing. Everybody got that? Good. I'm going to take my rapid fire first on this motherfucker. Oh, I wonder if he has shock absorbent. He's probably got shock absorbent armor. I should lure him away before I rapid fire him. Now, there's not a lot of better ways to do that with him with my sniper, because my sniper's capable of doing that uh, without drawing the ire of the uh, intimidate. You can't intimidate at squad sight range. Ooh, that said, I should holo target him first to start things off. Let's move to, uh, let's say, this position. Okay. Draw him towards us, and we're going to play Berserker Ping Pong. Holo targeting. I'm Nobody almost. panic. I said, nobody panic. Help, help, someone help. Good panic resist. I appreciate that. Now you're going to rapid fire him. That's my girl, Cell. You are a bona fide motherfucker. Big woman. Okay. Iku, make a conversion for me. Bring him back. We are playing Berserker Ping Pong. This is how it's played, people. Alright, Awa. What do you reckon? Time to say goodnight? Nope! That shock absorbent. Local man not feeling it. That's alright. I got a man who can deal with this problem. Another Berserker down to Alex D. Taken care of. Maybe a different Alex D, but nonetheless, it counts. Okay, let's get someone watching this left side. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean you. I'm sorry, Stolly. That's fine. You can launch a rocket from there. No problem. What was that panicking noise? <laughs> wow, Ayo, you need to... You need to do it again. Okay, Ayo doesn't want to do it again. I don't blame him, that was a weird noise. We're a berserker down now. Deep into the fight, we're reporting a sectoid on the mutant left, plus a cyber disc pod yet unactivated. Thank God. They're falling back. That's the nail in the coffin we didn't need. Here comes the muton. Don't get lucky, motherfucker. Okay, sure. It's going to the shop anyway. I could give a shit right now. <laughs> ah, this wall has saved more people through its line of sight blocking than fucking Jesus, I swear. Hey, I think I can do something fucking gross. As long as I don't pull a cyber disc. Yeah, you might be about to get outskilled, Muton. I'm on it, Commander. Is that a flank? <laughs> Out fucking skilled. Good lord. Not only is Cell MVP this mission, but Alloy Shiv's are MVP every mission. Fraggy is just. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I don't even believe it. Fraggy is just the robot that won't stop. It's incredible. He's just the fucking man. Should I have had any doubts? It's Frag's spirit after all. Shouldn't be surprising. Right, we'll just have to cover him from back here. Do some. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I 
This one little sectoid's still alive, just watching everything. Like, Jesus Christ, how horrifying. Rolling out. Roger that. It's killing time. Oh, and here it comes. Double disc activation. What does it mean? Go it means fun, is what it means. That's alright, Craig. We'll get him next time. Don't you worry about that fucker. Okay, so the mutant's down. It's just the sectoid on the right. And uh, an entirely more pressing matter on the left here. Now we need some quality shred work. Can you get that quality shred? No! Looks like you can't. I don't believe that. I think you can do it. Do I really want to risk that though? Probably not. Let's just start hurling grenades at it and abuse. Just start fucking chucking shit. Just chuck shit. Just chuck everything at it. Just throw all your grenades, Stolly. I've had enough. Blow up the SUV too. It's probably a robot. Beautiful. EQ a little bit annoyingly, not having a line of sight to snipe. By a little bit, I of course mean a lot annoyingly, so he's not going to be very useful for this one. But hey, hey, I got a rapid fire on this some bitch. That's something to write home about. Maybe if I move Fraggy left, I can also get eyes to fire with Fraggy, which would be much better. Nah. On my way. It's gonna be an all-cell show today, it looks like. Apparently, that's just the way she likes it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Could use some ammo over here. No, you're doing fine, Cell. Although we do need to finish this thing off. That's a bit scary. A one health cyber disc is just as dangerous as a. No health cyber disc. I think I'm gonna reconsider taking that rocket now. Let's just pray it scatters a little bit, fucks them up, you know? I've seen elevation work weirdly. It might still hit it, I think. I think it might still hit it, and it's worth a try. I'd really like that thing to be dead. Okay, play the game, Renzo. They're gonna be dead next turn anyway, so no point fucking around with your rocket. There you go. Should have trusted my instincts and shredded at the start. Fuck you, robot SUV. Robots in disguise, indeed. I saw the commercials. I know what you're gonna do. Cell and Fraggy. MVPs. Cell and Frag. The best. The best a man can get. Solid copy. I want to see what he does. Don't Scanners want any surprises. <laughs> Alright, little disc. What do you do when everybody's left you? I'm on it, Commander. I'm overwatch. Do you run or do you charge? You charge. Come on, Fraggy. Shivs aren't very good at overwatch, but yeah, there you go. Wasn't expecting the miracle. Shivs aren't that good at Overwatch. They're good at everything else. That's a big move. What are you going to do now? Look out, man. You're getting grenaded. They want to put Fraggy in the machine shop real bad. But God bless Fraggy for keeping uh, Cell alive through that. That two damage resistance. Not to be ignored. Oh, and they're just trying to take Fraggy down. They are not happy. But the little shiv that could... Oh my god, look at him. He is literally scorched with plasma. MV goddamn P right here. I don't care who you are. You have to recognize... I'm sorry, it's time for a thumbnail. I always do this, I know. I'm a little sad. I went to take the screenshot and all his plasma burns went away. Makes it a little bit less cinematic, you know? Doesn't matter. At least that way, the thumbnail won't spoil anything. Nobody will know. Speaking of which... You two ready to fuck some shit up again? I know y'all. Well, son, he ain't on Overwatch. 
So he ain't much. Moving out. Cell, I think this one's for you. X-ray down. Hey, I think that blew up my Berserker corpse. I wanted that. Alright, now we just got a little shithead sector to deal with. And the game is over. Oh, and I think we're not going to have any trouble with that. But just to be safe, let's maybe not put Fraggy in the line of fire for this one. I think he's done enough. I don't want that sector getting lucky and killing Fraggy for five. I don't want that. Just blow up his cover and call it a day, but I think I'll just suppress him instead. Oh, hello! Iku hasn't done- hasn't got to do a lot, whole lot this mission. Maybe this will be Iku's final hurrah. Let him have it, Iku. Maybe not. Missed. Just keep the shitbag pinned. I'm getting Fraggy out of there. He's done enough. Get yourself some cover, son. You're a robot hero. Alright, let's keep him pinned right there. As Aero literally sits in the smoking, acrid smoke remains. Of a fucking mechtoid. Roger that. Heading to that location. And once again, like D Day, fucking Carantan up the goddamn shingles, road ditches side of the road, crawling through mud. Uh, XCOM's team conga lines up the side of this broken ass wall. Now, if that ain't cinematic, you haven't got an imagination. We're green to go. Fine with me, little guy. You want to pick the way you die? That's okay. Not a problem. Heading there now. Oh, it's targeting. You got this. Ninety percent. There you go. Nailed him. Weapon Mission ready. accomplished. Can't engage. <sighs> You kidding me? That was 13 aliens? Didn't feel like it. Uh, Operation Red Stranger. Let's be glad it didn't run red with human blood. <laughs> oh wow, I only just noticed we've been stepping over mummified corpses this entire time. Um, that was severe. That was intense. I loved every second of it. Um, that was a very exhilarating XCOM mission. I thought I was fucked. The, the moment those berserkers shown up, showed up uh, off that shredder, I thought that's it. Someone's dead. But we did it. Flashbangs rule. And that was some quality work from every single person on the squad. <sighs> Let's go home. Get Fraggy some repairs. <laughs> 21 days in Mech Bay for Fraggy. He's earned it. Unfortunate, we've really been relying on him this last week uh, for all these missions. I'm gonna miss him, but uh, he's, he's definitely earned it. Good God, has he earned it. Um, Stolly, 7 days exhaustion. Alex D, 12 days exhaustion. That's fine on both counts. Everyone else is just fatigued. Well, I'm glad I kept the A-team ready for this one. Jesus Christ, holy hell. Yeah, we only got one Cyberdesk wreck. We blew the other one the hell up. That's alright, I'm just glad we're all okay. Three Berserker corpses though, so you got that going, that's good. Good god. Remember, we will be watching. <sighs> well, wherever you are, if you needed a wake-up call to get your laboratories and foundries going, uh, let this be a lesson. We've started getting Berserkers with only four days to our chem grenade getting made, so if we'd been like four days quicker on that. Uh, these missions would have been a fair bit easier. Chem grenades very good against berserkers. So there you go. Every day counts. And I actually lost a couple days um, because I forgot to do the experimental warfare thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, shredder ammo, also four hours out. 
Uh, I'm starting to think, after that particular mission, I might actually try out armor piercing ammo. It's getting a huge buff in B15, so I was waiting until then, but, um... Yeah, you know what? I'm looking at it and reducing enemy damage reduction by one two-thirds of the time or two one-third of the time. You know what? That's pretty good odds. You're getting something out of it no matter how you roll. You could potentially be rolling up to, like, plasma level once you get a uh, Gauss auto rifle. Uh, and you know what? Cell probably would have soloed that, um... I think Cell would have soloed that... Yeah, she would have soloed that mechtoid if she had armor piercing ammo. Now, of course, that's a bad way to reason. You don't go, if I'd had this in that previous example, everything would have been okay. Of course you don't. But... I'm feeling like on missions where my squads just don't have access to enough heat soldiers, or not enough good rocketeers, I might just consider taking this little piece of work along on someone like Cell to carry the squad. So we're gonna make one of these, and I'm gonna try this thing out. I think this might be worth... worth the try. <laughs> Nelly. Apart from that, I don't think we've got anything else to buy right now. Laboratories are on the way. I can build an access lift down, stock on for another uh, laboratory, could be good. What do we got in the foundry? None of this is interesting me. Nope. Don't need to get those just yet. Commander, we're in desperate need of additional troops. I know. If we don't start recruiting new soldiers through the barracks soon, we're not going to win this fight. Very aware. Probably could use another interceptor, but I haven't got the uh, money for it, I'm afraid. So they just got to keep on fighting the good fight right now. Which they have been doing admirably. We've shot down so many UFOs this month, it's uh, impressive. Let's take a quick stop at the memorial. You know, war has been so busy. I've forgotten to stop down here for a long time. <sighs> we very nearly added some names to this list tonight. Very nearly added some names to this list uh, last operation too. We're lucky we didn't. Lucky nobody from that landed supply barges here either. <sighs> We're very grateful for the people on this board though. That's why we keep fighting. Thank God Fraggy, at least. He's here to keep the spirit of Frag alive. Alright, let me take a look at my soldiers. Yeah, we're down to not a lot of active duty troops right now. Now, a lot of them are going to come back on. I could really just use a period where missions stopped happening, where I could get out of the fatigue spiral again. That would be nice. Boy, it's been a lot of missions in a row. <laughs> it's been a busy week. Um, yeah, I might just need some rookies. Also want an access lift though, I want to get to work on that, uh... No wait, that's right, I'm not doing more than one lab, so yeah, let's just hire some rookies. Reckon four will do it. And then... We got any council requests we can complete soon. Let's carry on till that. There you go, Shredder's built. Uh... Yes, I know I need the weapon fragments for Gauss, but I'm not doing Gauss, Gauss just yet, and I need the engineers. So that's a good deal. Commander, our satellite is oh, yeah. and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. We got ammo conservation down to 20 days. We're going to do a satellite transfer right now. Get that looking a bit better. Satellite launched. The new engineers 18 days. This morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. We've definitely cut it down a good bit. Now this covert operation is going to be the next bee in my bonnet. I haven't got a lot of good troops ready, but I think a good number are going to come off uh, sick leave in time. Let's see. Aircraft transfer complete. There you go. That's what I like to see. Oh yeah, baby. Yes. Oh my god. I asked for engineers, and Solomon engineers is listening. This morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. We have got so many engineers in such a short time. What, we were started at like 50 or something? We're going hard. I love it. Alright, it's going to be covered off time though, I think. There it is, boy. Data recovery. On one hand, it's nice to have a bit of a... bit more of a relaxing mission in the extractions. On the other hand, I don't really have the people. Almost, uh, almost would have preferred a covered extraction because it would have taken less people. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Ah, oh, but you know what? Fair few people have come off the sick leave. We might just be okay here. 
Hey, Petite's about to come back too if we wait. Nice stuff. Whew. I, I'm sorry if I sound like Matthew McConaughey lately or something, but those last couple of missions have taken it out of me and I just feel like talking in a drawl the whole time. I am fucking burnt out. I am, and I'm still having fun. I don't mean burnt out that way. I just mean I am burnt out. My neurons are fired. Those missions are taking it out of me and I'm going to be taking a break before this COVID extraction. I mean, it's this data recovery. I can tell you that. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Um, well, the, the good news is, if we take Sergeant Petite, uh, she's got repair, we can maybe try to grab some laser weapons off these elites if we're feeling confident in our squad. But of course, if we're not feeling particularly confident, we don't have to get too cocky here. Let me pick my squad. I'll tell you what I think uh, as it happens. But first, Petite's got to come off sickbay. Come on, motherfucker. Tick tock. Tick tock. We got all day, Petite. Well, we got till 11 a.m., I'll give you. Give you till 11.30. 11.40. You could you drive a hard bargain. But we really gotta go, man. Come on, matey. That's what I like. Alright. I'm confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. It's time to pick a SWAT squad, leave it in my hands. We'll have this done by the time the fast forwarding stops, funnily enough. So here's the squad. Um, the most notable change, of course, is that seeing as this is an exalt operation and Lieutenant Van Dorn is leading this one, uh, the Lieutenant General has decided that he's going to wear a special hat today. Van Dorn likes wearing many hats. Today he's going to be modeling the 1920s law enforcement fedora. We'll see how that works out for him. He seems very happy in it, very dapper. Uh, meanwhile, what do you got? You got your A-team, really. Uh, now, did I have to exhaust anyone here that's worth talking about? Yes. I had to exhaust a scout. I had no good scouts to go, so Daishi's going on on this one. The only other scout I had, I believe, was uh, Squint. One Squint is a corporal. Two, that would mean I'd be taking Kamikaze Melon, and I refuse to split them up, and I would rather have Van Dorn on this one because he's a lieutenant, and I need a lieutenant. Um, Van Dorn and Verid bring in the medkits. We're bringing a shitload of grenades. We didn't have a good medic ready to go, and even if we did, fuck it. More grenades is going to wreck Exalt harder, I feel. So, we Tastic and Petite together again, working together here. Organ with the big blasts, uh, a veteran of many COVID extractions. Here he is on a data recovery now, we'll see how he does. Instinct, uh, out of medbay just in time, as I was hoping. And he's going to be doing some tanking for us, seeing as Fraggy's in the machine shop for like uh, half a month. So he's going to be wearing both an alloy plate and a reinforced armor to try and stop those explosive blasts if they have to hit. Uh, Daishi here with the one flashbang on the squad in case we need it. We will try to get some captures of the arc thrower where we can. I think we've got more than enough grenades to afford to spot on Petite just in case things are possible. And Merlin right here, lock and load. Ceramic plate because we haven't got any spare alloy plates for her, but she's got a scope, she's got a laser rifle, she's got a heater. She's got all the traditional battle gear of your average infantry. I think she'll do fine. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's freaking it, guys. Uh, let's hit launch. Let's get out there. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. We're heading into China for the next operation. Exalt <laughs> has a cell working from inside their borders. Strike One will provide cover while our operative acquires the Exalt intelligence we're after. I feel like we've done this before, haven't we? 
Haven't we done this dance before? Deja vu. Maybe we'll get a different spawn. Or maybe I'm crazy. Anyway, Operation Twisted Whisper is the name of the covert data recovery in China on the truck stop gas station map. Uh, I'm going to get myself some quick r and r while the sky ranger's in flight get myself a drink or something to eat and i'll be playing this one uh, at a later date i think after after today's mission i'm a bit out of it but hopefully you guys will join me next time i have some energy back and we'll be taking it straight to those exalt son of a bitches on operation twisted whisper till then take care and have a good one